you call them startups that gracefully fail. Why do you use grace uh, in regards to failure? Yeah, it, it's, it's a long story basically, but uh, it boils down to, uh, to my perception that in our region, uh, we perceive failure as something really bad. We've been always trained not to fail, always to have a very good marks in school, always to do, to, do, to do well and never to fail. And so we kind of fear failure. And throughout my startup life, I learned not to fear failure, but I learned that failure is part of the process. It's, it's basically part of your job. And um, to kind of communicate this, that failure is not uh, something to fear, I, I usually call it successfully failed startup or gracefully failed startup or something like that. Because many people also, uh, when I do startup trainings, many of the, of the people there think that uh, failure is like a disastrous bankruptcy, like everything crashed and burned and the police came after you and uh, like people were trying to kill you for this, etc. And usually startup failure is just, you know, you know, uh, one or two months in advance, uh, you tell all the people in the startup, OK, we're shutting down and in two months, uh, please start looking for a job. And then you close close doors gracefully and you, you, you stay friends and then you start the next startup. And that's why I want to convey this, that uh, failure is actually something, something you do, not something that just happens to you. And if you're just as passionate about innovation as we are, hit subscribe for the Recursive Podcast on YouTube or your favorite podcast platform. We're everywhere. <laughs>